All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the sixth day of May in the year of our Lord, 2022. And things are crazy. (laughs) Yes, it's wrapping up. It's coming to an end. Let's start uh, by a short reading from the scriptures. Um, Psalm 9, Psalm 9, starting at verse 15. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they made in the net that uh, which they hid their own foot is caught i'm thinking of the the sanctions on russia oh we're going to destroy russia by stop, by cutting ourselves off from their resources from the resources that we in the, the western world requires uh, oil gas uh, precious minerals, wheat. Oh yeah, yeah. L- let's punish us, but we'll, we'll just we'll just go on hunger strike. <laughs> While well, most of the world looks at us and like idiots. <laughs> I'm using us in a loose sense there. The Lord is known by the judgment He executes. Yeah, He pays back according to what you do. Uh, as you sow, so shall ye reap. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. See, that's the judgment of God. On the West, the judgment of God. Uh, As COVID was in all probability, too, since the probability is, according to people like uh, Rand Paul, that the United States was complicit in creating that virus. Funding gain of function. Funding research, outsourcing, because it was banned by Obama in the United States, I believe. Uh, the, mo- j- the deliberate modification of viruses to make them infective of people for research purposes. Yeah, like, like those 30 bio labs in Ukraine, funded by the United States and operated by the United States. Uh, doing research into um, ethnically specific infections. Yeah, it's always been a, a, I've always been aware of that possibility. You know, you don't have to be, uh, if you're smart enough to rub two pennies together, I guess you're, you can do it, whatever that means. Uh, uh, that the idea that because of genetic diversity in human beings that you could, uh, create a bioweapon that might be specific because we know of genetically specific uh, uh, diseases like uh, the um, oh what is the one among the black community that ge- uh, genetically uh, uh, susceptibility that they have to a certain thing but yes there's there is uh, you could tailor uh, diseases to that, that affect predominantly certain people uh, it wouldn't work so well for the United States. You could only affect part of the population. Uh, but you could, if if you targeted like the the uh, European and the African, you could take care of most of it. And we leave the Hispanics back to their own world. But theoretically, it's possible to do that. And apparently, the United States was engaged in that kind of research. Lovely. That is why all the secrecy in the United States needs to be absolutely destroyed. I mean, other than technical secrecy. But, you know, the the FBI and the CIA, the National Security Establishment, the NSA, needs to be done away with. They're not necessary. They're not necessary. 
an open society where people know what's going on. But there's nobody that fears that more than the politicians. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back to the psalm. So uh, the Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Meditation. Selah. In other words, a break in the psalm here, in the song, to think about this. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Think of the ending of, psalm, or of uh, Romans chapter 1. Not only does God turn people over to their own corrupt and base desires, as in uh, the sexual confusion that we see rampant in the West, but also because they don't even want to retain the knowledge that God exists. They put it out of their mind. He gives them over to a reprobate mind. Just read like the last four verses of Romans chapter 1. This is that's judgment of God. That is the just punishment of God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, and the expect, expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord. That's Lord, capital is Yahweh, Jehovah, the God's personal name. He's I am that I am. The I am because it's, uh, it's sort of a form of the verb to be, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Amen to that. Yes. So be it, Lord. Now, I was thinking this morning, before I turn the Internet on, or the, I don't look at the mainstream media. <laughs> Talk about a joke. What a pitiful joke. They have become. And I, I grew up on, on uh, Walter Con Cronkite. I mean, Evening News, CBS. I always, um, and I was encouraged in school to, to watch the Evening News. Find out what's going on in the world. <laughs> well, that's what you don't want to watch today. This whole Ukraine deal is, is, abs is crazy. The, 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 Vomiting forth of lies from the governments and from the media. She's like, really? You people actually believe this? Are you going to have a, weird, a rude awakening? You know, the problem with lies is how do you unweave them? Uh, how do you on, take on spin them? You just pe hope people have a very short memory. Perhaps you should drug them in order that they have short memories. Huh, who knows? One of the ma what are the major uh, drugs that are sold in the United States by volume? I think uh, the, some of the biggest money makers are psychoactive drugs, antidepressants, anti-anxiety. You know, the drugs that, that squash your conscience, anti-anxiety drugs. Uh, ISIS was giving their troops anti-anxiety medication. So they wouldn't care. They're killing people, raping people, uh, cold-blooded murder wouldn't bother them. Yes, Amer uh, we, we've created drugs that allow you to do that. I, I know about those things, the bennies, uh, because when I was trying to work with a, a particular prostitute, there was a local doctor that was feeding her benzodiazepines. And I objected. I, I said, you should get off these things. And I, you know, heard him. I had taken her to an appointment. And I heard the doctor take her. You listen to me. Who is that person to question me? Yeah, I think this same doctor. I know one the, she also mentioned one of the doctors said, told her, I know what you are. How about coming back after work today? Yeah, uh... See, there's, there's wickedness that is visible and on the streets. And there is even greater wickedness in the professions. Human beings are sinful, and it manifests all the time. 
if, if we have a biblical worldview informed by the scriptures, then we should be able to see things as they are, regardless of how ugly it is. But fear not, uh, God has put things like flowers out there to remind us that he is too. Uh, in the, we, he has given us beauty even, even in the, the midst of this evil, this manifest evil that we have today. It just, well, it's coming to, you know, the, it, it can't be hidden anymore. But I was thinking this morning about what's going on, like in Ukraine and everything else. And, and this is this is not, you know, try to make sense out of it. Well, there's an old story here. <laughs> Let me read a quote from somebody. <clears throat> See if you recognize this. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Gettysburg, uh, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Now, see, re Lincoln did not believe in the God of the Bible. He did not believe in Jesus Christ. He was not a Christian. Uh, he read the Bible, but he was a, I guess you could say, a semi deist. He was never baptized never professed faith in Jesus Christ. But, as all true politicians do, he uses the word God for his own purposes. But his religion here, I'd, I'd like to point out, just think of the, the cause. What is the cause? Government of the people, by the people, and for the people is the great cause that, that he's calling the United nation to be devoted for. The religion of America is democracy. It's democracy. Think about this. Things will begin to make sense. Well, I'll, I'll take a, another uh, thing here. This is from uh, Woodrow Wilson in his address to Congress to declare war in World War I. Now, America, as I remember, America's on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Americans don't want to be involved in European wars. Uh, Washington and others warned against involvement in Europe and those areas. They weren't totally stupid. Um, and America, you know, it had enough of its own trouble. It wasn't that far removed from the Civil War. It was just basically a generation there were still living veterans from the Civil War at that time. Uh, very old at that time, but still. Uh, <clears throat> so Woodrow Wilson, when he addresses Congress, he says, self, this is uh, taking a portion of it, of course, self-governed nations do not fill their neighbor's states with spies. So you can either... Uh, come to the conclusion here from this, the first few words that either America is not a self-governed nation or Woodrow Wilson was grossly deceived. You know, we've heard democ democracies don't wage wars in other nations. Well, either that is a false statement or America is not a democracy. <laughs> look, look at the last 50 years. Uh, Self-governed nations do not fill their neighbor's states with spies <laughs> or set the, uh, the course of intrigue to bring about some 
critical posture of affairs, which will give them opportunity to strike and make conquest. Well, I guess Woodrow Wilson, if he could see the United States today, he would say, well, no, I think I was wrong. Now, see, this, this is a religion. Wilson's religion is democracy. Liberal democracy. That was Woodrow Wilson's religion. His real religion. It's what they inculcate in, into you in public schools, or they used to. And in private schools, too. In Christian schools, too. They think patriotism is even, even more so in Christian schools, they tend to. So, so the United States wouldn't try to manipulate things. It wouldn't go around the world starting coups here and there and color revolutions, right? Yeah. Uh, why was he wrong? Such designs can be successfully worked out only undercover and when no one has a right to ask questions. Yeah. What's our recent history here? Uh, that you, thou shalt not ask about COVID nineteen, its origins, and the effectiveness of vaccines and masks. You know, uh, and that for several years, and then, well, that started under Trump. So he was not. Uh, vote for Trump at your own peril. Don't be. Christians are being deceived, thinking this guy's a Christian. There's a reason why he chose Paula White as his spiritual advisor. Because Paula White is a prosperity preacherette. Like Kenneth Copeland. And the, uh, the, the, the entire, uh, a large section of the charismatic Christian world believes in the prosperity gospel. It's not a tiny fringe group at all. It might be the majority of it. It's endemic. Pan, it's a pandemic among uh, a good chunk of American even, so-called evangelicalism. Cunningly, yeah, no one has the right to ask questions. No one has the right today to ask questions about Ukraine and what the United States was doing in 2014 or earlier, lest you be censored. Uh, there was a, a dissident journalist arrested in Spain the other day, I guess, by the Spanish to be sent back to Ukraine to be put on trial as a traitor for expressing disagreement with the with the uh, policy of the Ukrainian government, the a, a European EU member country is sending back this guy to death because he publicly is a dissident against a undemocratic, wicked country. Of course, we're told uh, uh, Ukraine is a democracy. That is an absolute lie. It's ruled by oligarchs. Just like America is now ruled by oligarchs. People like Bill Gates and, and uh, Musk and uh, uh, guy Zuckerberg and the others. The, the plut plutocracy the rule by the uber-rich. See, Trump was not rich enough to buy America. Trump didn't control the, the Ministry of Information like Zuckerberg and uh, Gates and these people do. The Silicon, and, you know, Google. Those people control America. If you can control what people hear, you can control what people believe. Even the gospel must be heard to be believed. <sighs> so if you just don't allow things to be heard. Okay, so continuing on with Woodrow Wilson. 
cunningly conceived plans of deception and aggression. Oh, perhaps I can let you read it too. How, how would that be? Uh, we're up here at uh, this. Cunningly conceived plans of deception or aggression carried out, it may be from generation to generation, can be worked out and kept from the light only within the privacy of courts or behind carefully guarded confidences of a narrow and privileged class. Well, Wilson was part of a narrow and privileged class, too. Uh, it's called the, the national security. Yeah, there it's, all, it's called secrecy. It's, it's there. But still, America's always been ruled by an uh, uh, autocracy. It talks about democracy, but it's not. Money. See, the difference between European autocracy, royalty, where you had the, uh, the autocracy and then you had the common people, the nobility. Here the nobility is measured in physical possessions, your wealth, your power. People like Rockefeller and the robber barons. People like George Washington, Jefferson. These weren't poor men. These were not revolutionaries of the people. And if you go back and do a little research into the American Revolution, you'll find out that, you know, the, the, the uh, maxim, the political maximum, follow the, uh, the money. These people all had a great financial interest in the revolution because the, your, the, the British uh, government was crimping their style. They wanted to expand. They wanted to expand westwardly. They wanted to conduct uh, trade outside of the jurisdiction of England, of the crown. There was a huge smuggling industry. They didn't want to be crimped by laws and taxes, even though the taxes were pittances compared to Democratic America. Oh, yeah. But see, how Woodrow Wilson, how could he believe these things? He was a very highly educated man. He was a, uh, uh, a plutocrat of the universities, in a sense. The, the, the richness of education. Liberalism at its prime at its peak. The Enlightenment come to flower. Then it started to fade rapidly. Man, it is, you know, uh, the, the, the technological revolutions that were taking place, the, the optimism of science, and, and evolution had proved that God was unnecessary. Oh, yeah. Of course, if you know anything about science, you'll know that science itself is largely a lie. You, figure, you finally figure out how things work. You know, oh, yeah. Here's my deck of cards. You know, the, the surefire answer to evolution is a deck of cards. Shuffle it and ask a person to put it back in sorted order by random selection. That'll give them something to do. Forever. <laughs> oh, yes. You could expend, expend basically eternity trying to do that. You'd never accomplish it. Just 52 cards. Restoring them to the original sorted order. Or to any particular order. Any particular individual order. The probability is very, 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 approximately zero for all intents and purposes that you can do with that. It just can't be done. Evolution is a lie. And the reason people believe it is because they want to believe it. And that science is a religion. There is a name for that. It's called scientism. Belief in science as a religion, as a system to put your trust in. Fauci. 
Trust me, I'm science. Yeah, his science created the thing, probably. As Rand Paul points out, wait a minute, you guys were funding this research over in Wuhan. Gain of function research. I deny it. I absolutely deny it. Rand Paul, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, he's got the, the numbers and paper right in front of him demonstrating it. See, the big lie apparently still works. So why isn't Congress looking into that? Because they don't want to look into that. Because they were the ones that approved the funding. Oh, yes. Now, of course, Congress was deeply involved in all kinds of things around the world. That Woodrow Wilson says, of course, they can't do these things because democracies can't do these things. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, so, cunningly devised plans of deception and aggression carried, it may be from generation to generation, <laughs> yeah, that's right now, can be worked out and kept from light only within the privacy of courts or behind carefully guarded confidences of a narrow and privileged class. Only in, a, in European countries where you have an aristocracy, a royalty, can they do things like this from generation to conspire over long periods of time to overthrow other nations. No. <laughs> of course, there is a, in the American government, the institution of government, what's called the deep state. Uh, you could do things like this. And the politicians don't even know because you give them uh, black budgets where they don't, they're not even allowed to know what they're voting for. Yeah, uh, democracy, American style. Well, there's a lot of people, things like that. The People's Republic of China, the People's Republic. I'll get to that kind of stuff in a little bit. Maybe. Uh, they are happily impossible where public opinion commands and insists on full information concerning all the nation's affairs. That don't happen anymore. We've been told national security for your own good. We must not release this information. Would YouTube censor Woodrow Wilson? You betcha. A steadfast concert for peace or concert for peace can never be maintained except by a partnership of democratic nations. Oh, does that sound familiar, right? No autocratic government can be trusted to keep faith within it or to observe its covenants. Well, the United States cannot be trusted at all, never has been trusted. Or, 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 well, it has been trusted, but it's always broken the trust. It's been said, I haven't done the actual research, but that the, the American government did not keep a single treaty it made with the Native American nations. Not a single treaty. See, the, the liberal elite do not believe in God and God's revelation and the fact that people are sinful. If you don't believe that human beings are basically sinful, you're already grossly deceived. And you'll be deceived by all kinds of things. You've deceived yourself. Because you know you're sinful. That's why people love evolution. Because they wanted to be deceived. They don't want there to be a God. They want to, be dece they want to deceive themselves. So no autocratic government, really? So uh, a government where people change their government every few years. You can trust that government, though, right, to keep its word over generations? Yeah, really. Democracy is a con. That's what I believe. It's a con job. It's a deception. Rule of the people, by the people, and for the people is wickedness. Totally contrary to the Bible. A, a Christian wants to be ruled by God. The only God is an autocrat. He's not a Democrat. He's an autocrat. He rules of himself because he's God. 
Yes, I want to, the kingdom of heaven. There's no democracy in the kingdom of, Ge of heaven. God doesn't have wrong opinions. Not, nor does he take counsel from us. He doesn't need it. You know, a lot of prayer, that's what it is, telling God what he ought to do, right? Like he doesn't know. Why does the Lord's Prayer do, doesn't uh, says what? Thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Yeah, that's a good starting point for all prayer. That's a good starting point for, for building a proper attitude. God's will be done. Uh, so there, there's a, uh, no autocratic government can be trusted to keep faith within it or observe its covenants. So he was basically dissing all Europe at that time. It must be a league of honor. What's honor, Woodrow? A partnership of opinion. We must all have the same opinion, of course. See, a democracy, wouldn't every person have their own opinion? So you have to have a partnership of opinion. Int whatever. What is that? It's called coercion. It's called propaganda. It's called engineering the opinion. Forming it, of course, that's Woodrow Wilson was all for that. That's what the purpose of, of education is, to socialize people into the proper form of thinking and into proper opinions. Intrigue would eat its vitals away. Yeah, the United States rotten to the core. The, the plotting of inner circles. Think of think of uh, Iran Gate, uh, Trump, and Russia Gate, and all these conspiracies and the FBI and everything else. The plotting of inner circles, uh, who could plan what they would and render account to no one, uh, would be a corruption seated at its very heart. National security establishment, black budgets. See it. Uh, these things must be done away with. But they have a life of their own, and they will not, as they've demonstrated, they will not permit anyone to do away with them because they have the perpetual power. They operate in the darkness. They have black budgets. They might own, as far as we know, they might own Google. They can own all kinds of things. We wouldn't even know it, nor are we allowed to know it or to ask questions about it. Otherwise, you become an enemy. Only a free peoples, only free peoples can hold their purpose and their honor steady to a common end. Well, how do you create a common end for them? Well, that's Woodrow Wilson's religion. Uh, where am I here? To a common end and prefer the interests of mankind to any narrow interests of their own. See, he, is, he doesn't believe in the sinfulness of humanity. Wilson didn't believe in He does now. <laughs> he does now. Because, you know, regardless of who, who you are, that when you die, you're confronted by God. And you're, you spend the rest of eternity in the presence of truth which is probably the, the fires of hell. What, what I'm, uh, might be an interesting concept there. But the, the very fact that you cannot deceive yourself about your own nature anymore. You are constantly confronted with your own wickedness, unless you're saved. The truth cannot be escaped, especially in hell. There is no self-deception allowed. So, uh, then I just want to read one more paragraph here. Now, this is written in 1917, April, I believe, 1917. I'm going to assume probably what you don't know, and that's a little bit of history. Because the one thing most people in America don't know is history. 
Does not every American feel that assurance has been added to our hope for the future peace of the world by the wonderful and heartening things that have been happening within the last few weeks in Russia? What took place in 1917 in Russia? The Russian Revolution. The overthrow of the Tsar. Ah. Russia was known by those who knew it best to have always... In, uh, have been always, in fact, democratic at heart. Now, I'm not an expert in Russian history. Democratic. See, this democracy is the religion of Woodrow Wilson and Abraham Lincoln. That's their religion. That's their cause. That's their crusade. Not only that, that's America's crusade, the perennial great crusade. That's what it's all about. Now, see, we have hindsight here. So we have a little advantage over Woodrow in 1917. Uh, <clears throat> So it was, in fact, Demo Russia was democratic at heart in all the vital habits of her thought, in all the intimate rela uh, relationships of her people that spoke their natural instinct, their habitual attitude toward life. Huh? <laughs> What's he saying? Who knows? Sounds like fine words by a highly educated man that knows nothing. Fine words signify nothing. You mean the serfs? The proletariat? <laughs> what was the Russian Revolution about? The rule of the people, by the people, and for the people. That's what communism is. Communism is nothing but an extension of the American Revolution. It was overthrowing the autocracy of the privileged. Oh, yeah, it's the woke revolution, CRT. It's a continuation. It's all the same thing, people. Critical race theory and uh, intersectionality and egalitarianism are all a continuation of the American Revolution. And Christianity opposes the American Revolution. Because God opposes it. Because God does not believe in the rule of the people, by the people, and for the people. It's supposed to be of God, by God, and for God. Jesus Christ created all things for himself. So the scripture says... You won't even hear that in American churches, in churches in America. No, 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 it's all about us. Yeah, Jesus is all about us. God wants us to be happy. Boy, that talk about something that's a, a universal given in American Christianity. God wants you to be happy. The autocracy that crowned the summit of their political structure, as long as it stood, and the ter and a terrible as it was uh, as as was the reality of its power, was not in fact Russian in origin, <laughs> character or purpose. Really, uh, Woodrow, have you <laughs> read Russian history? and now has been shaken off, and the great, generous Russian people have been added in all their naive majesty and might to the forces that are fighting for freedom in the world, for justice, and for peace. Here is a fit partner for a league of honor. 
the League of Nations. Now, um, see, the First World War, what it did accomplish was largely an overthrow of a significant am uh, uh, amount of the, uh, the aristocracy and the, the royalty of Europe, the idea of rule by kings. So America's ent entrance into World War I was not because some merchant ships that were engaged in uh, war commerce had been sunk by some German submarines after they had been warned that they could be sunk by German submarines. You know, there was a war going on between England and Germany. From the American point of view, that was the only countries that were important. Because it involved American commerce. So, Hmm. So, uh, according to Woodrow, the Russian Revolution was uh, f fighting for freedom in the world, for justice and for peace. Now, communism, rule of the people, by the people, and for the people. Here's a list of the current communist countries, those are the remaining ones. Notice something here. Now, if you look back at the historic uh, list of communist countries, you'll see even more so. Cuba, the Republic of Cuba. Republic. Republic, like the American Republic. North Korea, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. How many democracy words can you put in one name's, nation's name? Democratic People's Republic. As I said, communism was just a continuation of the American Revolution, overthrowing the elite, the royalty, the aristocracy for rule by the people. Vietnam, Socialist Republic of Vietnam, established 1976. Oh, that, it wasn't, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a new Vietnam. Laos, Lao People's Democratic Republic, 1975. The Republic of Laos, the, Repu the People's Democratic Republic of Laos. China, People's Republic of China. These are all republics, just like America. America was the first. America spread it throughout the world. Marxism is a Western ideology influenced greatly by America. The French Revolution was influenced uh, immediately by America. All the, the overthrows that spread throughout Latin America all modeled after the American Revolution, all in the name of the people. All the communist revolutions, all people's revolutions. See, communism it was about the rule of the proletariat, the rule of the common people. The workers against the, the owners, the plutocrats, the aristocracy. The majority against the minority. Democracy. It doesn't matter if you hang the minority anyway. <laughs> it's not about the rule of law. The majority gets to establish what the law is, what's right and wrong. So, what I'd like to suggest, well, actually, I am suggesting it, is the great American crusade is a crusade for democracy. That's the American religion. That's the real abiding American religion. And America has been engaged in a crusade since 1776 uh, to overthrow all countries and install democratic people's republics. Now, <clears throat> the difference between the, the Soviet Union, the People's Republic 
of the, the social, social Soviet socialist republics. However, the USSR, whatever, you know, however what that was originally, the idea of, of communism is, 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 again, the rule of the people. God is not the rule of God. It's the rule of the people, just like democracy. And they all call themselves republics in the same way. To this very day, what's left of them? Republics. You know, the, the, the People's Democratic Republic of Germany and the People's Democratic Republic of, of what was it, Yugoslavia, all kinds of these things. They have elections. You might not know that, but the, the, the communist countries always had elections. The candidates were all from the people, though, the people, the Communist Party. Because the Communist Party represented the people. So you had a, a, a mono-party uh, republic as opposed to a bi-party republic that all do the same thing. Democrat and Republican is like the two flavors of the People's Republic of America. They're just, they exist for, only for show. There's no real difference. They are both materialists, and they both follow the religion of democracy. See, communism is atheistic materialism. So is America. America's religion is atheistic materialism. It does not believe there's only one God. And so any, any system that rejects that God and re that God's revelation is a theist because it's without the God who is. It doesn't have to be formerly uh, a denial of the existence of God. See, the God of the Founding Fathers was not the God of the Bible. They were atheists. They were without the only God that is, the only God that reveals himself the God of creation. They didn't believe that in that God. They had the Bible. They knew all about it. They rejected it. That's why they were deists. A deist is a person that probably uh, came up in a Christian environment that rejects it. Doesn't reject the concept of God as a theoretical thing. Just re it rejects the relevance of God. Re rejects the God who has made himself known. See, deists don't believe in a God that reveals himself because they can't. If they did, they'd have to confess the scriptures. See, the Islam is far closer to Christianity than America's religion of democracy because Islam acknowledges there is one God and only one God, and that God is the creator, and that God has revealed himself. And they even acknowledge that the, the prophets, Moses and the prophets and the Gospels, as revelation from God, even though they might say it's been corrupted. Now, I don't believe that Muhammad was a prophet of God. However, they do have a lot of commonality with, with uh, Christianity. Uh, it's not the God who, if, if, if the Quran is a revelation of a, uh, is revelation from some source, the source is not the uh, the God of the Bible because it's a different deity that's revealed in that book. But they still hold to one deity. There's only one God, and that He is the Creator, and that is something that it, there's much more commonality between Christianity and Islam than there is between Christianity and America. Democratic materialism or deism. No, because Christians and Muslims and Jews all believe in a God. There's one God that God has made himself known. Don't be deceived by a lot of the garbage out there. Because as, as now that the government has established their official ministry of disinformation. Yeah, because that's all they put out is disinformation. They want their disinformation out there and nobody else's information. Everything that doesn't agree with the party line is disinformation. 
that's the way it always has been in people's republics. Oh, where is that book? Oh, yes. The People's Republics, so well put out by George Orwell. This is not 1984. This is Animal Farm. And it's about the a farm that, that uh, not a very lengthy book, uh, where the animals decide to overthrow the farmer because they find out what the farm the farmer eats them occasionally. <laughs> Takes care of them, and then some of them get et. But the... The, the, the pigs, the, the, so they, they stage a revolution and institute democracy, and the pigs end up in charge because the pigs are the smartest of all farm animals. They're smarter than dogs. If you, if they actually are. Pigs are very intelligent, but they're pigs, like human beings. Uh, in fact, pigs are the some of the closest animals in a lot of ways. That's why they use pig heart valves and put them in human beings. Uh, anyway, the pigs end up becoming the, the, the ruling elite. And obviously this is a parable of communism in this book, because that's about when it was written. Let's see, when was this? Uh, 1946. Copyright. So <laughs> anyway, the pigs also rule in America. Doesn't have to, even if it's not officially communist. The idea of the people, by the people, and for the people would hold whether it's in uh, communist China or now uh, China's making some alterations, but but it, it, communism has the same ideas. Communism obviously is influenced very much by the American Revolution and the Enlightenment, John Locke and all these things. However, it's also atheistic, farther removed in time from the Christian influences that shaped some of the thinking of people like Locke and the Founding Fathers. Therefore, uh, it can do more it's 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 uh, of the people by the people and for the people more matured, more separate from God. Uh, at a point where, if, if you're an atheist, you quickly should discover that you have no foundations for anything, and then you end up as nihilism and existentialist. That's where that's where it's that's where the world is. That's where the Western world is today. It's utterly corrupt. It's utterly absurd. But you have to have this motivation. You still have to have this crusade. And that's what Ukraine's all about, along with all the other countries the United States has been overthrowing. Think of the Vietnam War. Crusade to save a, a democracy, to make the world safe for democracy, which is uh, the, the major uh, point that Wilson made in his appeal to Congress to declare war on Germany was to make the world safe for democracy. And they ended up defining communism as anti-democracy because it's a dis difference between capitalist, atheist, materialism, and atheism. Uh, the, the People's Republic of Democratic Capitalist Materialism versus the People's Republic of Democratic Socialist Materialism. So you end up, rather than having the plutocrats in charge, you have the pigs in charge. What was, what was the equivalent of, of the other side? I don't know. The farm dog in charge. The farmer in charge versus the pigs in charge. <clears throat> it's all the same thing. It's the same religion of democracy ruled by the people. The people's republic. in that paradigm. Look at the world through that paradigm. So, the Great Crusade. Uh, Lincoln makes it clear that part of the Great Crusade, you, you could put the War of 1812 in there, and you can put the Texas Revolution in there, and the uh, I, I'm, you could probably find out documentation that you could use the religion of democracy 
to explain the America's war on Mexico, uh, the American war on Spain, the America's war on America, and the Civil War. It's a religion of democracy. Both sides of the Civil War were fighting the, for the same religion, the religion of democracy, of the people, by the people, and for the people. Neither side included the, the, the blacks as part of the people, by the way. Lincoln had, did not regard Africans as equal in any sense to white Europeans. Who knows what he would have thought about Russians or Italians or anything like that. Just make it simple. Make it skin color. Otherwise, it's too complicated. But uh, this religion? Make the world safe for democracy. Even though democracy does not exist in the United States. It's a lie. It's a scam. Because there will always be the powerful shaping what people think, seeking to shape things for their own benefit. See, that's what it's really about. It's never about the people. It's about particular people. People act in their self-interest unless they've been born again. Democracy is a denial of biblical revelation. Revelation. The, uh, as I've said before, the, 19, uh, the 1776 American Revolution was a revolution not just against the King of England, but against God, against Christendom. The idea that, that civilization needed Christianity as a foundation. And as I've talked about in uh, uh, the Constantinianism, the, the last, last two videos I did on that, the Russia... Why Russia is a great pariah today, not communism anymore. I mean, why is America out to still out to destroy Russia? Because Russia under Putin, not Yeltsin. See, Yeltsin was a, a drunken nut. That's some, uh, it's about America wants is is a, is consumed by the religion of democracy and Putin created, and democracy cannot tolerate God. God's an autocrat. God's not permitted because it has to be ruled by the people, for the people, and of the people. God's not allowed in that. God's revolution, revelation is not allowed in that. Uh, so Putin, in their view, in the view of the, uh, the, the Wilsonites, shall we say, or the Lincolnites. Get the Democrats and the Republicans all together here. Because that's why they're all united about Ukraine. Putin is an apostate, in their view, because he turned Russia away from materialism, from democratic materialism, because that's what communism is. He turned it back to their historic roots, which Wilson, who is no friend of, of Christianity, uh, and others rejected, like Lincoln. I mean, has there ever been a truly re a Christian president? I don't think so, because why would any true Christian want to be president of the United States? <sighs> it's like, no. We don't need that. God's in charge. We want Christ to return. That's the answer. That's the answer to all this, is return of Christ. Our, I have a king already. I'm not going to... Now, <clears throat> now, I'm not going to swear allegiance to the Constitution, which is a piece of meaningless paper now. If, if you were to actually try to carry out your oath of office, you'd have to gut the government. Trump tried. Trump failed. The Constitution is one of the biggest failures in history. Primary purpose was to restrain the power and size of the federal government. Total failure. Total failure. People are not, not allowed to ask questions about that. So you're not to read the Constitution and hold it up and look at what the federal government does. Now, that's a no-no. 
very depressing. So, uh, anyway, the the uh, Putin has sought. He first of all, he reined in the oligarchs, which were raping Russia, and and they were deeply in bed with the West and politicians in the West. We've seen all this, like Biden in Ukraine and Russia and China, while he was vice president of the United States. So which country actually owns him? They all got dirt on him. I mean, what do you think he was doing over there? He even came home and boasted about the dirty things he was doing. How he was abusing his power. Boasted publicly about it. And he's president of the United States today. Still president of the United States today. Because they're all in bed. The whole system is utterly corrupt and wicked. As the Bible says. It's gone that way because it's rejected God. And Putin has turned Russia back to its historic Christian roots. See, Orthodox, Russian Orthodoxy is the, the abiding root of Russia and the Ukraine. The current government in Ukraine has nothing to do with historic Ukraine, which is, talking about historic Ukraine is rather difficult to. As separate from Russia? No. Not really. Not for a biting period. There, there was, you know, always some flux in that area going on, but no. Just nonsense. Historic nonsense. The Ukrainian and the Russian people, although they have Russia's always been an assemblage of peoples. Uh, their future, as their past, has been in partnership with each other. They're brethren. And the only real future for uh, Ukraine or Russia, uh, Russia can go, do it on its own, but is in partnership as Christians, as until the current corrupt regime, Ukrainian Orthodox believers were under the patriarch of Russian Orthodoxy in Moscow. There was a real dirty deal there, and they that they, they, they see Ukraine, the people in charge there are awful. They're not concerned about the the, the welfare of the Ukrainian people. They're interested in their own power. Uh, the current president was a protege, uh, in more ways than one, of one of the oligarchs. The idea that's being put forth in, uh, by America and by our government uh, and the, the media currently, that Ukraine is a democratic country as opposed to Russia, is absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Just garbage. But because Americans believe in the religion of democracy, like Wilson and Lincoln, we're, we're, we're educated. The only religion that's allowed to be taught in public schools is Americanism. And it is a religion. It's a civil religion. The religion of democracy. The religion of Abraham, Lincoln and the religion of Woodrow Wilson. Lies, all lies, but still, that's what's taught over and over again, every day, the Pledge of Allegiance. By the way, the salute used to be like this. I pledge allegiance. Until World War II. The Boy Scout salute used to be like that, too, by the way. The raised hand, which is, a, which is worship. The Nazis, they did that Heil Hitler. That is a salute. That is a, 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 a worship. Like a, a, a religious exercise, saying, I belong to you.
that was changed because of connotations with Nazism. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Some of you did. Some of you rogue individuals out there that actually believe in truth, you might have known that. You might actually try to figure out what really happened in history, what's really going on today. But it's the American religion, the Western... See, all, most of the world has fallen to the American religion, the American deity of democracy. The Communist People's Republic of... of all these things. There's no aristocracy left anymore that has any power. Like the, king, the Queen of England, she's just a figurehead. The English are probably wondering, why do we keep giving her money? She's nothing but a figurehead. So the American Revolution has run its course and has corrupted the entire world. And where it does, it, it turns people away from God. Because, it, again, it's government of the people, by the people, and for the people not of God, by God, or for God. Regardless of, uh, you know, under Christendom and under the kings and everything else, in, in theory at least, it was still government by God, by divine right. Now, that was abused, of course, but by sinful human beings. But at least they acknowledged God. It's just like Russia today is far closer to me than the United States is. Because Russia is turning back to God, Russia acknowledges as a society, and again, uh, Constantinianism, uh, there's a difference between societal Christianity and individual Christianity. Uh, and uh, societal Christianity can't save you, but it can point you in the right direction at least. So as a society, recognizing that God, the God of the Bible exists, and the God of the Bible our ultimate loyalty must be to him, is uh, far, far better than, than American religion, which is not about God at all. It's about the love of materialism. It's atheistic materialism at its core. Now, we have, a, in Christian America, we have this, this, this um, multiple personality, schizophrenic kind of thing where you have Christian ideas and you have American ideas, and we don't realize they're not compatible. So we're very confused. Christians in America are very confused people. We know that we're not supposed to live for materialism and to pursue wealth, but yet we do those things because the, the, the America, we have two religions and we're trying to abide in both of them. And then you get these, these things that, that don't seem to make sense, like Joel Osteen, the biggest church in America. Why is he so successful? It's because he's reconciled American democratic materialism with the Bible by severely twisting the Bible. So the purpose of God is for you to be happy and for you to be rich. So you can be a Christian and still hold to the American pipe dream. American materialism, prosperity. American idealism. Even if the ideas are all wrong. But the great crusade to make the world safe for democracy. The only way to do that is to convert all the world into democracy. And it's like the United Nations. That's a democracy, right? Sort of, in a way, <laughs> with a ruling elite. <sighs> you know, sometimes when you actually figure out what's going on and why things happen, it doesn't help. It doesn't solve the problem. But it does throw you back on God you do realize there is no way to fix this mess. That there is no way to bring America back to God because America was founded on rebellion against God. You have to go back to the Puritans and the Pilgrims. Not to 1776, because that was rebellion against God. 
Wilson, make the world safe for democracy. Lincoln, government of the people, by the people, for the people. Ungodly, wicked ideas that have shed countless vats of blood, gallons of blood, countless lives. Democracy in all its manifestations, including communist manifestations, because it is, that again, is a, the, the republic, it is democratic materialism. Atheistic, democratic materialism, just like the West. Same thing. Just a continuation of the American Revolution. You can't solve these things by politics. The system is corrupt. Irredeemably so. The only answer is the return of the king the real king, Jesus Christ. Without that, there is no hope. But until then, does Christ rule in your life? Now, if you want peace with the world, don't become a Christian, not a serious Christian, because there is no peace with the world for Christians, this world system, because it's anti-Christ. It's opposed to Christ. Opposed to what Christ teaches. Opposed to what Christ commands. The whole education system, the whole, the whole culture is anti-Christ. You look at the ads on television, on media, everything else, it's anti-Christian. It's, it's constantly pouring out this deluge, this flood of anti-Christian stuff. That life is all about possessions and power and having things, having people. Life is all about doing your own thing. It's not about doing the will of God. It's not about finding your identity, yourself, your purpose in God. In fact, the entire purpose of life is to come to know the one true God, and Jesus Christ, the one he sent into the world, who is God. And to know him is to have eternal life, because God abides forever, and so do his people with him. But the nations have dug a pit for themselves, a snare, and now they're entrapped in their own snare. Western Europeans and America has impaled itself on its own weapons, on its own snare of sanctions over this Ukraine thing. Yes, there is a God in heaven, and he does execute his justice. 